When do we want it? Now! Hi, my name is Raisa, and if you've been to any climate demonstration in the last few years, you probably heard this chant over and over again as you walk down your city streets with your friends, family, and mostly strangers. If it was a large crowd, you probably felt the adrenaline that comes with walking in the forbidden territory of the streets. You had that hunch that maybe, just maybe, we might win this one after all. If you went to a not so grand demonstration, well, you probably felt disappointed. You felt weird shouting at random bystanders that didn't quite catch what exactly you were doing. Well, today we are going to talk about climate activism. This is the last video of a series regarding climate justice, so what better way to close that with a strong, clear call to action? When we first hear about the climate crisis, we get a feeling that we are in a huge mess. So big that we can hardly imagine that there is actually something that we can do. Maybe you are just a college student doing your best not to fail your exams and therefore the global collapse of society does feel like a bit too much to grasp. I totally get it. Believe me. Nevertheless, the fact that you worry about it, it's a very good start. In this video will try to grasp a big question. What the fuck am I supposed to do about the climate crisis? The answer is, well, first, imagine something other than the crisis. Yes, that's right. Try to picture how the world would look like if we were to solve the climate crisis. The news and the information that we get from the media regarding extreme climate disasters, political inaction and empowered deniers can be overwhelming. And it may leave us feeling like there is no other reality apart from the one that these people are creating for us. So, our solution starts with imagining another scenario. If you do this collectively, the more powerful it gets, because then you will share a common certainty about something that you and your friends know is possible. Dictators and authoritarians hate ideas. That's why they do their best to suffocate them, because ideas run like wildfires. Once that you have your idea, make sure to share it and to be able to describe it locally. Um, if you are from Sacramento, California, focus more on what will be happening in your community and how it will look like, rather than describing what China is doing in your climate utopia. After all, your audience is your community. And here we get to our second point know and respect your audience. It is very easy to replicate the same messages and tactics as in other parts of the world, but they might not be as effective in the place where we are organizing. So how do we do this? We make a plan. If you come from a small community like I do, don't feel like your community doesn't weigh in the climate struggle. Choose a winnable battle. Say you want to get your city council to improve the cycling infrastructure in your community, or you want to defend the city's parks from a new development project. We know that winning this battle won't mitigate the climate crisis, but in your vision of climate utopia, you have safe bike lanes and healthy parks for everybody. And most importantly, if you win this one, you will have traction. You and your friends will sit in a park that lives thanks to you and your activism. And whenever somebody tells you that protesting does nothing, you can point at the park or the bike lane or ideally both. Here we get to our third point, create the narrative. I have to tell you this, but you will lose sometimes. They will get you a couple of times and it's going to be hard. You'll feel small and unempowered. However, try to remember other struggles, other moments in history. For example, Rosa Parks' imprisonment felt like a defeat while she was behind bars. If we only tell the story up to that instant, it is a story of defeat. An oppressive, racist system managed to punish a young black woman. However, it was only a snapshot of the whole thing. And now we know that's not how the story ends. Same here. We can write the narrative. Others have done that before. They rejected their narrative of the impossible, of the unthinkable, and they wrote their own. From Martin Luther King Jr. to the Zapatistas, to a young girl that stood outside her parliament every Friday, nonstop until she kickstarted a global movement of young people that demand climate justice and that they demand it now. Keep this in mind. We, we people, not corporations, not nations, we can make this happen. So get out there, imagine something different. Fall in love with that dream, share it, share it, share it, organize, and go change the story. See you there.